Coming up, Obama speaks on immigration. And a soldier receives a second chance, as well as a glimpse at the gun control hearing. Your News Valdosta starts now. Welcome to News Valdosta, I'm Reed Burkett. And I'm Gabby Garrett. In a speech given in Las Vegas, Nevada yesterday, President Obama stated that the time for immigration reform has come. While some immigrant families see this as a bright change for their future, immigrant owners of small businesses say they believe this will harm their business. These businesses have come to rely on a low-cost labor that is not in the position to demand higher wages or benefits. Obama also stated in his speech that if an agreement has not been met in a timely manner, he will send legislation to Congress based upon his own principles and insist it be voted on immediately. Leasing a car just got more expensive. New legislation eliminates the birthday tax on new cars, but does not apply to car leases. After March 1st, consumers who buy a new car will pay a single 6.5% sales tax at the time of purchase. However, they will continue to pay a monthly sales tax in the jurisdiction in which they leased the vehicle. Danielle Fagray, Senior Vice President of the American Financial Services Association, states that Georgia has a higher rate of leases than most other states. The national car leasing average is about 17 percent, compared to 42 percent in Georgia, according to the Experian Automotive. Reporters state that lawmakers will likely tweak the car tax bill this year. Former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords and her husband Mark Kelly are testifying at a Senate hearing on gun issues this morning. Along with the couple, the vice president and CEO of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, gave his views on the proposed gun control laws. In a statement prepared for the hearing, LaPierre said proposing more gun laws while failing to enforce the thousands we already have is not a serious solution to reducing crime. Mark Kelly told CNN, we're not going to stop every one of these mass shootings. We're not going to stop every murder with a handgun in our cities. But I think we'd go a long way to reducing the violence. In response to gun control, I had a chance to travel out to T3 Outdoors and see how local stores are being affected. Firearm sales hit a record high last month as 2.7 million guns were sold throughout the United States, beating the previous record of 2 million guns sold this past November. Local stores such as T3 Outdoors have experienced a major increase in business, but owner Judd Tanner says the demand for firearms and ammo is greatly surpassing most dealers' supply. Our sales definitely have been better than, way better than normal, but they could be much, much better. Just uh, unfortunately, the supply is not there. These record sales are the effect of stricter gun laws being introduced in Congress. The bill threatens to ban assault style weapons in any magazine exceeding 10 rounds, along with other restrictions. Prices are increasing, and good luck on trying to find any more high capacity magazines because they're out of stock nearly everywhere. Just the the possibility of not having any ammo at all could be definitely coming. So. This high demand has made it even tougher for local homeowners to purchase a firearm. For News Valdosta, I'm Reed Burkett. United States soldier Brendan Morocco recently became the seventh person in the United States to have successfully undergone a double arm transplant. John Hopkins Hospital is calling the surgical procedure the most complicated arm transplant ever performed in the United States. While it will still be a few years before feeling has been fully regained, Morocco says he is humbled by the gift and looks most forward to driving and becoming an athlete again. Coming up, a breakthrough in transplants. And changes in tax regulations. Stay with us. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Valdosta State University. Quality academics. On campus and online. Caring faculty mentors. A beautiful campus. Opportunities for involvement, leadership, and service. Championship Athletics, Spirit and Pride. Discover your opportunities. 
Schedule your visit today. Valdosta State University. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Welcome back to News Valdosta. Taxes are on everyone's mind as the time to file has come again. Following the fiscal law changes passed by the Congress earlier this month, people can expect some changes when doing their taxes this year. With the upcoming tax season rapidly approaching, taxpayers may not be aware of the recent changes. Tax specialist Terry Conley of TC Tax Services explains some of those changes. The IRS will not accept their tax return until the end of January. Generally, we can file and uh, the IRS would, would accept the returns around the 14th, 15th of January, but because of uh, the legislation that was passed late last year with the, on the, uh, based on the physical cliff, uh, naturally the IRS has to revise their forms, uh, software developers have to re re redesign their software, therefore the IRS has stated that they will not accept returns until the end of January. Good news for college students, they will still be able to take advantage of the American Opportunity Tax Credit. Even though it was set to expire in December of 2012, it was extended for another year. Basically, uh, for the first four years of your education, over the first four years of college, 10% of the first $2,000 that you spend for tuition and 25% of the next $2,000, you, 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 you can apply that and get a refundable credit of up to $1,000, 40% of it. Uh, however, generally speaking, for a college student, it's better for their parents to claim that. Uh, the, your parents can claim you as, a, as, a, as an exemption on their return until you're 24 years old. If you require assistance or need more information, the Internal Revenue Service provides valuable information on their website, www.irs.gov, or you can contact one of your local tax representatives. With News Valdosta, I'm Marlon Contreras. As the saying goes, desperate times call for desperate measures, and that's exactly what researchers at Temple University Hospital took. To combat the increasing number of patients who go without receiving the lung donations they need, the researchers decided to try every way to expand the field of usable lung donors, which led them to heavy smokers. In lab tests performed on recipients of both heavy smoker lungs and non-smoker lungs, little difference was found. Though further research is needed, doctors say this method seems promising for the future of lung donation. As obesity becomes a concerning topic among Americans, it seems a local South Georgia doctor has a solution. Dr. Marone Faircloth of G&G &G Family Medicine has decided to look into the effects that a southern diet has on small towns, specifically in Georgia. The South Georgia doctor feels that many people have been miseducated as to how to lose weight. His study shows that when participants log their meals into a journal, their weight loss was more significant. Dr. Faircloth has found there are numerous ways to lose weight as well for all types of people, and he looks to continue with studies in the future. Researchers at the Frank Porter Graham Child Development Institute at the University of North Carolina shows that Georgia pre-kindergarten programs are continuing to produce good results. The institute tested more than 500 Georgia pre-K students over the past school year, and the early results showed that Georgia students are improving in all areas. Governor Nathan Deal will use this information to push a proposal that will add 10 days to the already 180 days of instruction required to be a Georgia accredited preschool program. The state of Georgia hosts the nation's first universal preschool program for four-year-olds and is currently ranked in the top five programs in the nation. Taking a look at your local weather, today we'll see mostly cloudy skies and a strong winds with high in the upper 70s. Tonight expect thunderstorms and temperatures in the upper 50s. Tomorrow we'll be back in sunny skies with a slight cool down. High with, will be in the lower 60s with a low dropping to 30s. Coming up, Twinkies make a comeback. And Valdosta takes off in its athletics. Stay tuned. Thanks for calling the GED Pep Talk Center. Jerry Schiller speaking. Your level seven in your face Pep Talk. I can keep pushing you. Believe me, I'm good at it. But at some point, you're going to need to start pushing yourself. See, once you've got your GED diploma, 
You, you'll feel so good about yourself. You tell them. You can't change your past, but you can definitely change your future. That makes me so happy, I'm ready to bust out a dance. Mr. Trejo, can I transfer this guy to you? My gentle technique isn't really working. You need something a little more... Persuasive? Yes. You listen, and you listen good. Hey, where's my sandwich? Terry? Terry! Take it from me to King DMC. It's a real cool thing to get your GED. Get that diploma! Now hold on and we'll find you three GED classes. Capiche? Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. When every moment matters and a hand reaches out, when someone gives blood and a life is saved, that moment when heartbreak turns to hope, you're there through the American Red Cross. Every day, the Red Cross responds to nearly 200 neighborhood emergencies, and your support makes it possible. Use this moment to join us today. Visit redcross.org. Welcome back to News Valdosta. I'm Reed Burkett. And I'm Gabby Garrett. Ever been hungry enough to eat 13 tons of chicken? Apparently two Gwinnett residents were. Authorities say two individuals stole $65,000 worth of frozen Tyson chicken from their employer. While the two men have been arrested and released on $3,000 bonds, the chicken remains missing. And back to some more food matters, the indestructible Twinkie is one step closer to making its way back onto the, onto the shelves. Hostess Brand has finally made a decision between the two investment firms vying for the chance to bring back the company's Twinkies and other infamous stacks. Stat snacks. The joint bid would set the floor for an auction process allowing the competitors to continue increasing bids. The company is expected to make their announcement soon. Fans of the epic Star Wars franchise may be at dismay next year. The original plans for 3D versions of Star Wars Episodes 2 and 3 to be released next fall have been postponed. Lucasfilm released a statement saying the 3D releases have been postponed in order to focus on new episodes. The new episode is set for release in 2015. Valdosta High School football has received notoriety in a newly released book. The chronicle titled Must Win, a season of survival for, from a town and its team, was first released in September. The author Drew Jibaru <laughs> takes a detailed look at the accomplished program of Valdosta High School while maintaining focus on the culture of Valdosta as a whole. The former AJC and New York Times writer admits he did not know a lot about Valdosta initially, but his interest peaked in 2009 when the Wildcats suffered after losing their coach. The story started as an article for New York Times, and after getting great reviews, Jubera decided to visit the city to get more acquainted and write a book about it. The book is available in local stores. Continuing our sports talk, after three national championships in the past two years, Valdosta State University has chosen to stay in Division II. Talks of the move started when fans complained on several social media outlets. Valdosta State's athletic director, Herb Reinhardt, says the budget will not allow for a change. The annual athletic budget is currently set at $3.7 million. If the school were to move to Division I, the budget would have to be doubled, along with several other pricey fees. I'm Reed Burkett. And I'm Gabby Garrett. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.